Today we are going to turn this mini computer into a small server so that we can run services like Ohm Assistant so that it helps to automate our smart devices, add Guard Home to protect our network from ads and tracking, Jellyfin to manage our media library and we will also create a dashboard so that we can manage our services so that we don't forget their IPs. There is a lot more that we can do but today we are going to focus on these simpler services. Now you can use any computer, I will be using the new Ace Magic Vista V1, which is a computer with the Intel N150 with very low power consumption, 16 gigabytes of RAM upgradable to 32, and a 512 gig SSD upgradable to 2 terabytes. It has two USB 3.2 10 gigabits, two USB 2.0, one HDMI, one display port. It supports up to two displays, one gigabit Ethernet port. It comes with Windows 11 pre installed, but we will not be using Windows. So let's go for it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. Now let's go to a browser on any computer. Let's search for Proxmox, go to the official website, just download the latest version and put it on our desktop. Now let's insert a USB drive to create Proxmox installation disk. Just open Rufus. If you still haven't, just download and install. It's free to use. If you have it already, just open it up and then drag the Proxmox image into Rufus. If there's a warning uh, appearing, just ignore it and continue. In two minutes, the USB will be ready to be used. We just need to insert the USB drive into the computer that you are using. I'm using the Ace Magic PC. We need to power it on and while it's powering just press F2 or delete to enter the BIOS. Now let's go to the save and exit and choose boot override so that we can boot from the USB drive. Once it starts, the Proxmox installation screen will appear. Just a quick note that this computer comes with Windows 11 pre-installed. We are going to replace the operating system with Proxmox. Now, down the road, if we decide that we want Windows back, we can just install Windows the normal way and we will have Windows back, which I doubt for this particular case as a mini server. But just have in mind that if you are using any other computer with data on, everything will be erased. So just make sure that your SSD doesn't have any critical data. Now in my particular case, as I'm testing this unit right over here, what I did was to replace the original SSD so that I could place in another SSD. We can play around, I can share this tutorial with you. Then I just need to put in the SSD with the original Windows 11 installation and that is it, no time wasted. Now let's go back to the installation and we just need to follow the steps that will appear. It's very simple even if you haven't installed any operating system before. We just need to configure a static IP which is advisable but for this particular case let's leave as default. Now in my case it appears the 192.168.2.240 and this will be the server's IP address that we will use to access our server. Now after the installation the system will reboot and the installation is complete. Now we can disconnect the monitor and keyboard and place the mini PC in a corner, any location with a network cable and a power supply only. So we won't need any HDMI output, we won't need anything, just the Ethernet and power. And at this moment we have a full-fledged mini server on the Ace Magic Vista V1 and we can install a lot. We are going to start with a few apps where we can do a lot. Now for those that already have used Proxmox, this is Baby Steps 101, but for those that haven't used Proxmox, then I believe that these are the steps necessary so that you can start working with Proxmox, getting confidence and then install a lot more services. So I will try to simplify as much as I can. Let's go to any computer on our network. It doesn't matter if it's Windows, Mac or Linux, we just need to open a browser and enter the IP of our computer. In this particular case the Ace Magic has the 192.168.2.240 to .8006. Now we just need to log in with 
the user root and the password that we created during the installation. Now we are on the Proxmox dashboard. We are accessing this mini computer and you can check the system details like the CPU and RAM, for example. So it is one of the smallest servers that you have seen everything working. Now let's go to install our first service, which is Ohm assistant and for that it's really simple you just need to copy the command from the video description i will leave it down below you just need to copy and then go to the shell and paste that command and press enter now confirm that you want to create a new virtual machine for home assistant and just answer one or two questions that appears on the screen and the installation will take about one to two minutes if at the end the assigned IP to the machine doesn't appear, just check the virtual machine console and you will be able to see the IP address and then followed by two dots, eight, one, two, three. Any browser and you will access your Ohm Assistant setup. Now, we have installed Ohm Assistant on every single operating system that we can everything so we will not be configuring home assistant right now probably you already know better than me how to configure home assistant and start playing around with your smart devices instead let's go to hardware dom so that we can see how simple it is and the process is the same just go down below on the video description copy the commands that i will leave right over there open proxmox shell and paste it there press enter answer two or three simple questions that appear on screen and this one is even quicker than home assistant below one minute we will have ad guard home running at the end of the installation the ip will be displayed you just need to copy that ip and paste it into a browser and start configuring ad guard home so at this moment you can just pick the ip address of your ad guard home put it on your open wrt open opn sense pf sense or any other router where you can replace your dns and you will be protected simple as this now let's move on to jellyfin now on jellyfin we will do the same process we just need to copy the commands that i will leave down below in the video description paste it into proxmox shell and follow the steps in two minutes you will have Jellyfin ready to set up and start adding your media files. So as you could see, in about four minutes, I would say we already have three services which I use on a daily basis: Home Assistant, Adquart Home, and Jellyfin, right over here on this really small machine with a power consumption of about 10 watts or so, which is awesome now we will keep on adding apps and i will share with you more apps as i've done in the past and as i will be doing in the future but one of the things that will happen is that with more machines that we will be having on our network what happens is that we will have a lot of ips and we will forget the ip of adguard the ip of home assistant so let's run a dashboard so that we can place in our services and have everything at our hand so that we can just click and go to adquart click and go to the router and whatnot so once again let's go to the command that i do have on the video description and let's copy let's go back to the proxmox shell paste it follow the installation steps and that is it now let's get the ip and open the omar page there are more dashboards but this is my favorite so far let's set up a username and password and let's create a dashboard now we can add our services we can add home assistant we can add odd guard and jellyfin we just need to select new application we need to choose an icon enter the ip address corresponding to the service that we want and basically that is it now as you can see on screen i did create for home assistant odd guard home jellyfin but we can also add other things like a calendar we can add the weather we can add a lot we can customize everything that we want basically and we can even add other network services for example i did add one of my network attached storage solutions from asus store we can also add external links i did that example with the google website and i did select the google chrome 
icon this just to show that we can put everything that we want a shortcut for a favorite website that we want or any other service that we find useful and that we put on this machine or any other machine one final note is that regarding the ip address i did simplify everything that i could in terms of this small tutorial especially for beginners but the ideal is to have a fixed ip address as you could see during the installation we have other options like advanced options where we can select the IP address. We can also grab the MAC address and put in our router and select a fixed IP address, which is the way that I prefer. But if you want to simplify using only Proxmox, you can decide which IP for each machine. As an example, if we go to the Proxmox configuration, we just need to go to the VM settings, select network and then assign the fixed IP. Now we can use the IP address that was already put in by the DHCP server that we have or we can select any other IP address. Once that it's set, everything is ready to go. The only downside that I see on using IP addresses on Proxmox instead of the router is that by if any chance our power goes down and the router wakes up and the server is not online, the router may attribute those IPs to different machines. So we need to make sure that this machine is on when the router comes back on. That's the only downside that I see. There might be others that I don't know at this moment, but feel free to leave some comments down below. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.